The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We have some snow going on in areas north of us towards New England and points west towards, uh, say, areas close to the Canadian border, including North and South Dakota to the south and west of us. That's where we have rain showers and those rain showers will soon turn into thunderstorms. And yes, indeed, that is our next weather maker. That is what's going to change our weather as soon as very late tomorrow afternoon, especially tomorrow night into at least the first half of the day on Saturday. But for now, all is quiet here locally. Let's uh, show you what we're anticipating seeing here. If I can get my computer to move and I can't, so I'm going to step off and I'm going to use the space bar. <laughs> so let's see if this works now. There we go. Future tracker shows overnight tonight showing skies starting to uh, turn partly cloudy. We're mainly clear right now. We're mainly sunny, but as we head into tonight, the general trend will be for us to see a little more cloud cover. As we look at your forecast for the day on Friday, we're going to start out the day uh, again with some clouds, but we're going to be dry. And as we look at Friday afternoon going into Friday evening, that's where we're going to start to see some rain chances pushing in by about 6 p.m. On, on Friday. We're going to have some rain showers right along the North Carolina Virginia border. Notice how the rain fills in as we head Friday night into Saturday morning. OK, such that by midnight Saturday night, many of us are going to be uh, seeing some rain. It is going to be a very wet night come tomorrow night on Saturday at 7 a.m. Heavy rain is likely. We could even have a rumble of thunder, but Saturday 7 a.m. That's going to be our wettest time with this next uh, little cold front uh, swinging through here. Lunchtime Saturday, leftover showers still around, although the intensity of the rain will start to let up. And by dinner time Saturday, we're dry and we may even close out the day Saturday with some breaks of sunshine. As far as how much rain we're going to see here Friday into Saturday, especially again Friday night into the first part of Saturday. That's when we're anticipating seeing most of the rain. We're going to see anywhere from about a half an inch to two inches of rain. It does look as though those higher amounts will be in areas along and to the east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. The Lynchburg and the south side zones look to be the two wettest zones for us here with this next uh, disturbance pushing through here. Pollen levels today very high, but at least when we get wet on Friday and on Saturday, that will wipe away some of the pollen. The other thing that rain is going to do is lower the fire threat, and that is great news. But again, the pollen counts pretty low Friday, Saturday. They will go up on Sunday as we dry things out. Sunday, Monday, we're going to see more sunshine. We're going to be dry. However, another chance for rain will push in very late on Tuesday into Tuesday night and also into Wednesday. So two chances for rain for us here over the next five days. First chance comes for us tomorrow night into Saturday. Another chance for rain Tuesday night into Wednesday. It's 56 right now in Withville, 58 Blacksburg, 63 Roanoke, it's 62 in Danville and South Boston. Overnight tonight, going to have a few more clouds streaming in, especially after midnight. The winds are actually going to be pretty light for a change. Overnight lows, though, cold, 30 to 37. Three day zone by zone forecast showing that the warmest day in the NRV will be Sunday 58. Pretty good shot to get wet in the highlands Friday night into Saturday, drying out Sunday. South side, you may be the first to get wet late Friday afternoon and then Friday night into Saturday morning. It's no doubt going to be very wet across all locations, including for you folks in Danville, Martinsville and in South Boston. And in Lynchburg, you go from the 50s on Friday into the 60s Saturday through Monday, falling into the upper 50s briefly on Tuesday and Wednesday. And across the Roanoke Valley, we are looking at uh, the rain chances increasing for us in Roanoke around the time the sun goes down tomorrow into Friday night, into the first part of Saturday. Sunday, Monday look pretty good. Most of Tuesday's dry too. It's Tuesday night into Wednesday where we will indeed have another chance for some rain. And that storm system on Wednesday uh, may also provide us a better chance for a few thunderstorms as well.